Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. In today's video I am doing a collab video. This is our seasonal collaboration, our fall nail polish rack. So this is actually going to be part one. I will have part two here probably in the next couple of days. So make sure to look down below for the list of everybody else that's doing the collaboration. And if you're coming from one of these other channels listed down below, hi, my name is Caroline and I love to talk about nail polish. We are going to just briefly talk about this first row here because these I already talked about in my fall favorite picks from my mystery box that I unboxed a couple of days ago, maybe a week or so ago maybe a little longer than that, but all of these were talked about in that video. So if you are curious about those, these are the colors that we talked about. If you're curious about what those are, I'll post a little link to that video up there. But about the ones that we're going to talk about today, we have a lot, <laughs> a lot. Uh, I think we've got about 33 nail polishes that we're going to talk about. I loaded up on these fall vibes and actually on that note, this is my basket of other fall nail polishes for parts two and uh, maybe even parts three because I still haven't finished going through my nail polish collection. Yes, that's right. Fall is my season. I have a lot, a lot of fall favorite colors for this season. So let's just jump right in. I have a whole lot of polish to talk about, so let's get going. This first one that I'm going to talk about is actually the one that I'm wearing. This is Lights Lacquer Booze Cruise. This is a favorite. I had to jump right on in and wear this. I've actually already put away my summer rack a couple days ago at least, maybe earlier in the week. And so I've just sort of been playing around with polishes that I have found and technically I've worn two of my fall rack already before I officially had put together my fall rack. And this is just gorgeous. If you are a Blurple fan, if you like colors like Indigo and Iolite, you will love this one. I positively am in love with this color. It is a holographic polish, although it is not linear per se. It is a beautiful effect on the nail. It's that kind of finish that really just adds sort of a glimmer and a shimmer, sort of a speckly look to the nail. But I absolutely love it, and this color is divine. It rides the line beautifully between blue and purple. It is just gorgeous. So I think that's enough rambling about what is no doubt going to be one of the polishes that makes it to this year's top favorites at the end of the year, but that was Lights Lacquer Booze Cruise. Next up we are talking about one by Kathleen Lights or KL Polish. This one is Brick Sidewalk and this is one that I tracked down after they closed. Had to get my hands on this because it is such a gorgeous color. Look at that deep terracotta sort of marsala-y tone. It is beautiful and one of my favorite tones of orange. Now, I did put this on my little swatch ring here and this is a one coater. It got a little gold star here. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. Just cannot say enough about this. I will have to do at some point some comparisons between this and other colors that I have in this shade range because like I said it's one of my favorite tones of this sort of orangey terracotta uh, marsala-ish color is really really one of my favorites so I do have a tendency of picking those up especially because in this shade range uh, in this family of colors I should say there's a lot of minor differences in colors that I really, really like. So I do have a lot of them. So hopefully I'll be doing some comparisons here soon. Um, but yeah, that was one that I'm really excited to try. And that is KL Polish's Brick Sidewalk. Next up, we're going to talk about one of my fall toppers. This one is Noodles Nail Polish, and this one is called Salem. This is another that I got in one of the mystery boxes that I purchased, and it is a gorgeous fall topper. This is what it looks like in one coat. It is full of copper glitter, iridescent, and some metallic shades, so it's really, really beautiful. I can see this looking good over just about every single color that I have here in my fall rack. The exception maybe being some of the deeper pinks. I'm not too, too sure how I would like that, but definitely against the greens, the purples, 
the oranges and the marsalas. I could see that looking amazing. And actually I could see these looking fairly good over colors like this that are on the nudie pink side. Not so much on the berry colors, but maybe that's just me. We'll have to try it <laughs> at some point maybe, but that was just one beautiful coat of Salem by Noodles Nail Polish. And I will be coming back here after I've shared this one with you and showing you what Salem looks like over these two colors. The next one is from Orly. This is called In Full Plume. This was part of their fall collection and it is a gorgeous tone of green. It is sort of this jungle green. This one I did build up in two coats and what I really like about it is it does sort of dry in this plasticky finish. I would recommend a top coat anyways over all of these and but I did leave these in their natural state as they dried that way you could see what they look like in that finish but it is a gorgeous tone of green pretty unique to my collection I don't think I have many in this shade of family which is kind of unusual because technically uh, it's it's one of those like more green teals if that makes any sense but it's a beautiful tone I really like the formula on this and in that first coat it is a little bit more squishy but the blue one here that we'll be talking about was even more squishy but in any case it's a gorgeous color and again that was Orly's in full plume so now we're going to take a look at noodles nail polish Salem over brick sidewalk and in full plume oh yeah this looks gorgeous over this one so this is over brick sidewalk by KL polish and in full plume. Oh, that's nice. Actually, I did, I do think I meant to only do the tip of the nail. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> they did look really, really good together though. I really like that combination. So there you have it. That was Noodles Nail Polish over Brick Sidewalk and in full plume. Next polish is by Super Chic Lacquer. This is Zombie Crush. This is a stunning, stunning holographic in a deep, deep eggplant. This one, I really would recommend a top coat on it, but this is how it looks in its natural state. This was a one coater. Now, I don't know if you might need a second coat if you have longer nails, but for uh, this little nail here, it worked beautifully in one coat and I was really surprised by that. It is absolutely stunning. I have no idea how much of that holographic flare is going to show up on camera, but it is really, really gorgeous. It has a lot of that linear flare really stunning there and again just a beautiful deep almost like aubergine purple just stunning so that was super chic lacquer zombie crush and i do believe this is still available on the website next up is one from music city beauty this is called my shot and this is i keep wanting to say this is a beautiful one for fall <laughs> but all of these are <laughs> that's why we're making the video <laughs> But this is a stunning orange holographic polish. It's sort of like a bright copper penny orange and it has flakies in it. This one I built up in two coats. Looks absolutely gorgeous. And another one, and I'm going to be repeating myself on this too, another one that I'm super excited about to wear. I think this is really, really gorgeous. This one might be a little bit more on the unique side as far as the oranges that I have because of the brighter coppery tone really really stunning i love the holographic nature of this one it isn't quite perfectly linear it is more of that speckled effect kind of like what we had here but really beautiful color but that was music city beauty my shot up next is one that i just hauled here recently this is la colors go getter and this is a stunning color you guys this is really really gorgeous this one I built up in two coats here it is such a gorgeous shade this one is a little bit on the I think I described it as like brick red in my haul video and uh, I don't think it's quite as brick ready as my first impression it does have a touch more of a berry lean to it but not as much as I was thinking from the bottle. When I picked this up, I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more like a dark mauve. I think on the nail, it definitely leans more red than that. Really beautiful though. I really like shades like this on my skin tone. A really nice deep shade for fall. And that was LA Colors Go-Getter. 
Up next, we're doing another topper. This is from Noodles Nail Polish again. This one is called Sugar Hill, and I love toppers like this. This is full of iridescent glitter. It also has some, I believe, metallic glitter, just little teeny tiny ones. And I think if the swatches that I saw of this are correct, it also has flakies. So it's really, really stunning, a gorgeous combination. It is more on the sheer side than Salem was, as you can see here over a bare nail kind of hard to tell what's going on so again we will be coming back and swatching it over these two after i talk about this green one here but it is a lovely light dusting across the nail and again that was just one coat so you could see what was going on kind of sort of <laughs> that one is a bit lighter i know so that again was noodles nail polish sugar hill Next is another one that I have already worn and I absolutely loved it. This is by Kiss and it is this romance. I got this in a haul from Dollar Tree a few years ago now and I absolutely love this color. I wore it with a matte top coat and it looks stunning. I actually initially was hoping that it would be a little bit lighter on my nails, but after I wore it and put the matte top coat on it, I really, really wouldn't change a thing about this. It is absolutely stunning. It is a gorgeous cream formula and I think this one got opaque in two coats. You might be able to get away with just one depending on the length of your nails, but it is such a stunning color. When it's in a matte finish, it sort of reminds me of like a vintage chocolate board very fall-esque to me sort of like going back to school and the chalkboards if they even still have those now <laughs> goodness i might be dating myself <laughs> but it's a gorgeous color really gorgeous shade of sort of this sagey green and i did swatch that as well almost forgot to show you that but we will be coming back and showing a sugar hill over it but that is how it looks against my skin tone just oh, love this one really really love that one so again, that was Kiss This Romance. Now we're gonna go ahead and do that topper from Noodles, Sugar Hill, over these two. Wow, that's gorgeous. Brings out the fire in those iridescent glitters. Beautiful. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. So that was over Go-Getter. Let's see it over this Romance. Ooh. That's pretty too. Look at that. Very nice. Great combination. I would say that having this over this particular color isn't very fall to me, but it's gorgeous. I could see that being a beautiful combination for spring actually. A little bit darker than your standard uh, green for that season but that iridescent glitter sort of amps it up into sort of a, a rich spring color really like that all right up next we've got one by never enough we're going back to vampy shades this one is called killer tofu and you guys this is such a unique shade i actually was a bit surprised at how light this was on the nail though it's sort of a deep berry red and what's interesting about it is the combination of flakies and glitter. It has a beautiful array of red metallic glitter, some iridescent flakies, and then a beautiful shimmer. The shimmer in here shifts between the sort of a green, blue, and a little bit of gold. Really gorgeous combination, and again, super, super unique. I would say that if I were to wear this, which I hope to this fall, obviously, I would probably be wearing it over a deeper tone, maybe pairing it over something like this dark chocolate brown brown or a deep berry tone because it is a bit sheerer than I was thinking it would be. This is it built up, I believe, in two coats. Yeah, I think it was in two coats, so it definitely needed a third coat to get it to that rich level that you're seeing in the bottle. So to save polish from such a unique bottle of polish, I would probably pair this, like I said, over a deeper color to sort of get what you're seeing here in the bottle, but it is such a gorgeous color. And again, that was Never Enough Polish Killer Tofu. All right, I'm rambling far too much. I haven't even gotten through the first row. This next one is Moonshine Manny, and this is And Then There Were None. It's an Agatha Christie-based one, and this color is beautiful neutral, full of these beautiful fiery flakies. They are, I believe, at least two different kinds, as well as um, some holographic flakies in here. It's really stunning. 
this is what it looks like in two coats it's a beautiful neutral with a little bit of like cashmere pink really lovely combination i love colors like this this tone of sort of like putty pink is one of my favorite colors it's a bit neutral but to me it's not a boring neutral it's a really beautiful tone cannot wait to wear this one again i'm gonna be repeating myself with every single polish but it's really really stunning so again that was moonshine manis and then there were none next up is one by vapid this is called crab nebula and this is a gorgeous multi-chrome for fall it is sort of that scarab green but you also see purples and burgundies and different shades of blue this is just so many colors it's just gorgeous so i really really am looking forward to this one this is how it looks in two coats you can see on camera anyways the burgundy in person i'm seeing that beautiful rich green just a beautiful shade and again very fall-esque with those combination of colors so that was vapid's crab nebula up next is one of the brighter tones this one is from orly this is called blue tango and this one i actually pulled out because of some of the color trends for fall that i looked up and i thought that was a really interesting way of sort of choosing some colors that you might not otherwise have chosen for that season and blue was definitely on a couple of lists for fall 2021 in pantone's fall colors as mykonos blue and so picking between some colors that i thought might fall into that range of trend colors for the season i thought this one would do nicely the deep but bright blue as i was seeing online uh, of course you're open to as always interpret these colors as you choose and i'm sure you have a color very similar to quite a few of the blues on that trend list again i'll link down below to the uh, pantone list where i found it and you can see what colors they're talking about for these trends um, some of the colors were very spring-esque to me and i didn't really pick any of those but i thought this was a beautiful color this is what this one looks like in two coats this was a bit more of a squishy formula than i was expecting i was thinking that this was going to be a straight up cream but it is a little bit more on the crelly side it's a bit squishy on that first coat but builds nicely with the second so again another sort of a brighter pop for fall but one that i thought would be nice and fun to try so that is orly's blue tango Next up is one by Polish, and this one is called Sandcrawler. This is a bespoke batch that she made for, I think it was for the Mandalorian? So this is a beautiful tone, again, of this sort of orangey terracotta tone. It is so gorgeous. It is, of course, a flaky balm, as you can see here, and this is what it looks like in two coats. It is gorgeous. Again, I feel like I'm going to be repeating myself, just you can fill in the blanks, beautiful for fall can't wait to wear it it's gorgeous <laughs> but it really is all of those things it's beautiful a beautiful color and again the flakies against this really rich terracotta -y color is really really beautiful so another one that well you know the drill i want to wear it. <laughs> so here you go that was polish's sand crawler next up is one from 77 nail lacquer this is invocation of the spirit this came out in polish pickup september 2019 and i instantly fell in love with it when i unboxed it it is so gorgeous you guys if you don't have this color i would definitely recommend trying to find it it is so unique it is this beautiful sort of deep mysterious multi-chrome base and it's got these like i can't tell if they're like a gold uh, bronze or copper but there's these beautiful glitters in it and it is just so mysterious again just super super unique to my collection i i do not have anything that is even remotely close to this this is what it looks like in two coats i would recommend uh, possibly a glitter eating top coat for this one just to smooth out the rough finish from that glitter but look at this beauty it is so 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 gorgeous and again, I cannot stress enough how unique this one is in my collection. I absolutely love it. I fell in love with it when I opened it. I loved it when I wore it. Cannot speak highly enough about this one. It's just amazing. So that is 77 Nail Lacquers, Invocation of the Spirit. Next is one by KB Shimmer. This one is called So Jelly. And I think this is another one that I got in a mystery bag. It is so so beautiful it is a little bit on the squishy side as the name would suggest being jelly in it 
And I want to say that this one has Aurora pigment in it. I'm not sure if it's got original UP in it, but it definitely, definitely runs the gamut of being very similar to that. It's a beautiful sort of red shimmer particle, very fine shimmer particle, but I definitely see a little bit of a shift to green at certain angles. I think this is another one that could use with a third coat because again, it is a jelly formula, but to save polish, I would probably wear this over sort of a matching undie. Uh, I don't think I have one in this run here. Hmm. Maybe over like Butter London Burgundy, although that would definitely richen it up, this being a very deep uh, burgundy. <laughs> Uh, but you could try it over something like this from Color Club. This one is Will Never Be Royals. This is a multi-chrome, so you would be covering that up, but you would have that sort of a similar base in there uh, to sort of give you that uh, jump start to an opaque finish, but another gorgeous, gorgeous color. And again, that was KB Shimmers, so jelly. And next up, we're doing another Orly from the fall collection for this year. Um, I swear I didn't pick all of them into, into this fall rack, but this was a beautiful one for fall and it hit a couple of the trends this year as well. This one is Wild Willow and it is a beautiful sort of muted moss green. So first of all, I wanted to try a few of these sort of prugly greens this season. I don't usually wear greens all that often. This tone being the exception in the sort of a minty sage family. So colors like this, especially ones that start to go into the prugly side of things I really haven't worn very often, if ever. So I really wanted to try these out. I have been liking them when I've unboxed them. And for the fall trends for this year, they have army green on the list, as well as something that they're calling olive branch. Looks to me like olive drab. So definitely fit the bill on a couple of those color trends and a beautiful color for fall as all are all of these. <laughs> But again, just a beautiful color and one that I'm just really excited to wear because it's a newer color to my collection, not just this one specifically, but this kind of color. So I'm really excited to see how I like it on my skin tone, but I'm cautiously optimistic that I will like it. So that again was Wild Willow by Orly. Next up, we have another topper. I know it doesn't look like it very much in the bottle, but this is Tonic Nail Polish, and this was Social Injustice. This was one of their charity last, last year, I think. But what's so cool about this is I got this in one of my mystery boxes, so I was beyond excited to see this. I was also excited to find out that it is a topper and dries to a matte finish. So this is what it looks like in just one coat. Look at how stellar that is. So fall so gorgeous. It's got multi-chrome flakies galore, a few different kinds of flakies as well, and just look how beautiful it looks even over this bare nail. It is gorgeous. I could see this looking really nice with just like a, a single coat of like a soft like your nails but better topped with this and then maybe a little bit of design at the end of your nail. Ooh, I might have to try that. Ooh, okay, I'm giving myself ideas. <laughs> Cannot wait to try this one again <laughs> but this was tonic nail polishes social injustice next up we have another from kale polish and this is 1435 i believe i did wear this last year it's a gorgeous shade it's kind of well i was gonna say it's kind of similar to the one that i'm wearing but not really this is definitely more of like a grayed out blue really gorgeous tone beautiful cream formula, really beautiful color. This is how it looks in two coats. I believe this is one that might have almost been a one coater. So if you have shorter nails, you might be able to get away with just one coat, but really stunning. And actually I cannot wait to see how Tonic uh, and Social Injustice looks over this. So in a moment, we're gonna come back and try that over these two, but this is how 1435 from Kale Polish looks. Really beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and look at Tonic Nail Polish, Social Injustice, over KL Polish and Orly. That's beautiful. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
that is a gorgeous combination. I would probably wear this with a shiny top coat with that, but we'll see. We'll, we'll let that dry and come back to it, but oof, loving that combination so far. Next up is one from Girly Bits. This is actually a prototype, and I'm not really sure if that is 3130 or 3 of 30. So if anyone knows, let me know. <laughs> but in any case, this is one that I got, I believe, in a mystery bag. Uh, before I even got those mystery boxes that I've shared here on my channel, this is another one that is super, super unique. The base is almost like a deep tan caramel color, but then it's full of this shimmer that shifts between red and orange. Then you've got tiny like micro glitters in there in like red, purple, and a few other colors I feel. It's just super, super unique. I don't know if any of that's going to be coming off on camera, but see what I mean about that deep sort of tan caramel tone? And then you see the red. And the red's mainly what you see on the nail, but the tone of the base of this is sort of like a, a neutrally tone. That might be difficult to see, but oops. It sort of has that neutral cocoa, light cocoa base to it. Again, really, really unique to my collection. And uh, this is another one that would probably need a top coat to sort of glaze in the texture that you're gonna get from the glitter, but really unique. And again, just such a gorgeous color for fall. Really, really liking this one. This one, when I unboxed it from wherever I got it, I really was excited about this. So that was Girly Bits prototype number 3130 or three of 30. <laughs> The next one is from Sweet and Sour Lacquer. This is called Koji, Koji in Cashmere. <laughs> Cozy in Cashmere. It's late, you guys. Apparently, I cannot talk. And this is another one that falls into the category of the three polishes that I had in that top favorites from my initial video from that mystery box. Sort of matches with these three here, but it is a different tone. Just going to give you a little side-by-side -side comparison. It is a little bit of a different shade of gray, a little bit lighter in tone, and of course a very different mix of, of those flakies. But like those other colors, this is a beautiful Crelly loaded with flakies. This one definitely isn't as fall-esque as those other colors, but I thought it was a beautiful color. And again, just this is one of my favorite formulas for polishes to be. It is a that Crelly with these crushed up multi-chrome flakies. And this one has iridescent. It's really gorgeous. This one is, like I said, a little bit of a lighter gray than the one from that first video, which I believe was painted polish uh, zombie kill of the week. And it has different amounts of flakies, different types of flakies. So you're gonna have a little bit more of a green appearance in those flakies as opposed to the orange. So I thought it would be a nice contrast to that polish and a good little addition to our fall rack. And one that I think is gonna look really beautiful matte actually. So I'm excited to try that. So that was Sweet and Sour Lacquers, Cozy in Cashmere. Next up, we've got this beautiful multi-chrome by Smoky Mountain Lacquer. This one is called Evil Twin, another one from Polish Pickup, and another one from a mystery box. This is a gorgeous uh, multi-chrome that shifts between this sort of a purple to burgundy to orange to gold, and it's got holographic in here. This is such a gorgeous fall color. Look at the range of this. Just stunning. It's got a whole lot of colors that I love for fall all in one bottle, so I had to include this gorgeous multi-chrome. This is what it looks like in two coats. This is another one that I definitely would suggest wearing a top coat with because you're going to want to glaze it nicely and, of course, seal it in so that it can last as long as you want it to. But again, look at the range on this. So beautiful. So that was two coats of Smoky Mountain Lacquer's Evil Twin. And this was another one that was very, very close to being a one coater, but I did end up doing a second coat just to sort of even things out and add a little bit more plumpness to the nail. The next one is by Coloris de Carol, and this one is Where Are You? This one is another one from Polish Pickup. This one I did purchase on my own though. I didn't get it in a mystery box. And I thought that this was such a unique polish for fall. This is what it looks like in two coats. It is a beautiful sort of a tan orange caramel color, 
full of glitter. Again, it's a very unique combination of glitter. Like I said, when I first got this, you've got the little square blue glitters in it. You've got hexagonal gold glitters uh, in a couple of different sizes, I believe. And I think I see gold square glitters as well. So just a really fun color combination for fall. I think I'd probably wear this in early fall. And just look at those gold glitters twinkling away. Such a unique color. Again, a beautiful tone as well for the fall. Again, repeating myself. So that was Colors to Carol. Where are you? Another multi-chrome, this time from Morgan Taylor. This one is called Make em Squirm. This is a really beautiful, if not a little bit of a subtle multi-chrome. In the bottle, what I'm seeing is a mix of blue and purple with a little bit of like gold and green at the edges. On the nail, in two coats, mainly what I'm seeing is that gorgeous purple, but you can see little speckles of blue and it's actually a lot darker than I was thinking it would be given what I was seeing in the bottle. But that shift of purple is really gorgeous and almost shifts to a burgundy, which is kind of surprising because in the bottle, I definitely wasn't seeing that in there, but it is really, really beautiful. And again, one that I thought was lovely for fall. So that was Morgan Taylor, Make em Squirm. Next, we're doing one that I wore last year as well. This is from LA Colors and this is Tea Time. This is such a cute color, you guys. This one is two coats and it is a beautiful, sort of like a rosewood mauve or maybe Marsala pink. I don't remember if this was the one that one of my viewers said was Marsala or if it was the other LA Colors because they do have an LA Colors, but it was in more of a an orange here. But so I don't remember which one it is, but in any case, if this is Marsala, again, let me know down below, but it's a gorgeous color. I really enjoyed wearing this the last time that I wore it in fall for 2020, and it's a beautiful, rich tone. I love colors like this on my skin tone. Again, I by no means think I'm going to wear all of these, especially when you count the, oh goodness, probably 60 more bottles that I have back there, but I'm super enthusiastic about fall. <laughs> So this again was Tea Time by LA Colors. Next up is one by Lynn B. Designs. This one is called Dinafash, and this one came out in HHC this year, actually. This I thought was such a unique color. It is like a multi-chrome glitter almost. It's just super, super unique. You've got this really beautiful bright green, but the base is sort of gold. Then you've got pink and blue popping up in flashes. It's just so cool and very fall-esque to me. This it was just one that I really wanted to pull into my rack. This is it in two coats. What you're mainly seeing, of course, is that green popping up, but as you, as you can see, Hopefully the base is sort of this murky gold green, which is really cool. And then you get that pop of pink every once in a while at certain angles. I also thought that this one might make a really neat topper. So I was going to try this out on a couple of colors. We're going to try it over this magnetic. This was, I believe, one that I got rid of, which now I'm second guessing myself. I believe that this was, yes, uh, China Glazes. You move me. Okay, yeah. I'm not as excited out now that it's on here, but it is really pretty. And actually, I, I like it over the magnetic flame because you can still see that through this polish. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like over another color. I want to see what it looks like over this nude color here. I don't really remember what color that was. I'm just curious about this one now. Okay, interesting. I think the green is really going to be predominant over any color that you put this over, but that kind of looks cool. Hmm. All right, so you can definitely play around with this one on a number of different colors, but in any case, that was Linby Designs Dinafash. Up next, ignore this swatch because I was playing around with it. This is what it looks like. This is by Clean Colors and this is Cherry Mocha. 
I don't know where they're getting that name. To me, this is a grayed out purple and I love it. <laughs> you will hear me talk about this tone of purpley gray all the time. It is one of my favorites. And what I really, really like about this one is it dries matte. So, so beautiful in this matte finish. I, as always, would suggest putting a top coat over this and then putting a matte finish over that if you wanted to maintain the finish just so that it'll last longer but this is such a beautiful tone. And again, a color that I love and I buy quite frequently. So I'm excited to wear this one in the fall. And again, that was Clean Colors Cherry Mocha. Next up is one by Koki Cosmetics. This one is called Saucy. This is again in those in that range of colors that I positively love for the fall. So this is just a beautiful tone of like a brown, red, a very deep, clay color which is another one that was on that uh, fall trends for 2021 they had a color called clay which is an orangey brown and then they also had one called adobe which was again a beautiful clay color so love this one this is what this one looks like in two coats again I'm going to be repeating myself, but stunning, stunning color. I really cannot wait to wear this one. I love the deeper tone that this one is compared to uh, the KL polish and a few of the other um, uh, like terracotta tones that I've pulled out. This one is very vampy by comparison, and I absolutely love it. So that again was Saucy by Kofi. Next up is one by I Love Nail Polish, or ILNP, and this is Black Orchid. This is a beautiful linear holographic, and forgive my lid, it's sticky somehow. I don't know what happens to those, but here is what it looks like in two beautiful coats. It is such a gorgeous color. I'm hoping that the linear holographic is at least going to come across a bit in video, but it is a really gorgeous tone. Here you go with that holographic in the bottle. It is a really beautiful, rich berry shade. To compare it to Super Chic Lacquer, hopefully you can tell that it is similar, but different. This one by uh, Super Chic Lacquer is definitely more on the aubergine deep purple side, whereas this has more of a rich berry tone to it. So both are beautiful linear holographics. And again, repeating myself, but super excited to wear this for the fall. So that was ILNP's black orchid and that was actually one of the first bottles of polish that i got from this brand up next is another by linby designs this is amazingly unlikely and just look at this this one is so so gorgeous i do want to play around with this as a topper because when i swatched it again it is sheer than i was initially expecting it to be but look at that beautiful multi-chrome and those glitters this is so twinkly and gorgeous so this is what it looks like in two coats as you can see it's a little bit on the squishy side so i would be curious to try this one over a few different colors but i love the shifts on this and that glitter is just beautiful so again that was lynn b designs amazingly unlikely next is one by glam polish this is yes sir captain tight pants this is from her firefly collection this is one of those sort of neutral but not colors uh, as you can see here it has that dusty base loaded with shifting shimmer and glitter it's gorgeous, you guys. This is another type of polish that I get quite frequently because it's just so beautiful. And there's so many different slight variations that you can have with the variations of the light neutral base loaded with um, the red shimmer particles. I think I ha have a couple more kind of similar to this. I think one came out in the Star Wars collection as well. Uh, and I think I have another one that's again in that same family that I would consider these to be from Moonshine Manny. So a beautiful tone and again these colors are gorgeous for fall. That again was Glam Polish. Yes sir, Captain Tight Pants. Next up we've got another almost cream polish. This is by L'Oreal and this is Safari Chic. This is another one that sort of falls into that range of the two ones that are on trend, the Army Green and the Olive Drab. I think this one would fall more into the Olive Drab. Beautiful color. The shimmer that's in here is very subtle. You really don't see it very much on the nail. It just comes off as a cream polish. And it is different from the one from Kiss. It is a lighter tone and a little bit more not quite grayed out but it's a just it's a different tone altogether by comparison the one by kiss is almost more of like a eucalyptus green whereas this is more of a mossy green 
if that makes sense. But again, another gorgeous color. I think this is going to look beautiful matte as did this one from Kiss. So I'm really excited to try this one out. And I think this one would be another one that would look gorgeous with the tonic topper over it. So gotta try that. So that was L'Oreal's Safari Chic. And lastly, but not least, we have one by KB Shimmer. This one is Men Are From Marsala. And this is gorgeous. Cannot wait to try this one. I believe this was one that I got in a D-stash. And I'm so excited that I did. It is a beautiful linear holographic. And this is what it looks like in two coats. Sort of a ready orange. And it's gorgeous. The linear holographic on this is really beautiful. Cannot wait to see this one in the sunshine. Although we are in our rainy season, or at least starting to be. Um, we have been sort of going back and forth between rain and sun, and today, and for the next two days, we are firmly in the rain, so I doubt this would be seeing much sun anytime soon. But I'm excited to see it anyways. <laughs> so another gorgeous, gorgeous color. That was KB Shimmers. Men are from Marsala. So there you have it for that part one of an exceedingly long very large fall rack for 2021. Make sure to go down to that list down below. All of the other YouTubers that are participating will be listed down below with their YouTube channels and their Instagram handles. And if you are coming from one of those channels, hi, my name is Caroline. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully you stick around to the end. I know it can be very, very gabby. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to like and subscribe for more nail polish videos and part two coming up here on my channel. And I'll see you next time.